Hello, I am having an Easter egg hunt control my TBR this month. I have set out 11 eggs. They have prompts and book covers in them, and this will determine what I read for the month. And the biggest goal is to get the golden egg, which has Ophelia after all in it. It's my most anticipated release. I really want to read it. So I have had someone put the eggs in the yard. I will have two minutes on the clock to find as many eggs as possible. So Let's get started. Okay, here's the blue one. Oh, here's the yellow. Here's the pink one. Oh, oh. Uh, I thought I saw one over here. Where's the golden egg? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's not it. Oh, here it is. The golden egg. Where's the golden egg? Is that an egg? No. Oh my god. Where is it? I only have. I don't see the golden egg. Um. see what I got here. <laughs> so here is the first egg, which is disability visibility, which is great because that's what I'm actually currently reading. So on track, I'm reading that for the disability readathon. All the links will be down below. It's happening for the whole month of April. Next is the green golden egg. And this is to read the shortest book on your TBR slash owned. So I'm going to have to look into that. Okay, then the blue egg is, oh, yay, oh, yay, it's Men O' War by Corey McCarthy, which is an arc I have coming out this month. I talked about it in my most anticipated sports releases video, which I'll have linked up above if you've missed it. Oh, so far, a pretty good TBR. Purple egg. Read a book with flowers on the cover because it's spring. I wanted to do that and I have a perfect book for that. I wonder if I could get two challenges in one book, which is fine with me. Pink egg <laughs> is, oh, oh my God, yay. Okay, another arc, which is Art in Gray by Ray Stavi. I'm so excited for this one. It has Ace Rep and it has a romance with a trans boy where the trans boy is the love interest which is going to be really good i'm so excited oh we have a good tbr here and the last book i believe is in this yellow egg and it is the dream weaver oh yay okay we have a really good tbr i am going to get the books that correspond with the prompts and i will see you back in my bedroom
I'm back in my room so let's go over my TBR. For this Easter egg hunt I did take the prompts that you sent me in December and I put them in some of the eggs so I'm going to be sprinkling them around in some of my TBR videos so don't worry I haven't forgot about them. So for the prompt to read a book with flowers on the cover I chose the book that I had in mind when I was writing this prompt and it is Tyler Johnson Was Here by Jay Coles. I've been wanting to read this one and so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity. For the prompt to read the shortest book on your physical TBR, I have chosen a book I recently received. This is You Are Not Alone by the Alphabet Rockers Pictures by Ashley Evans and it is just an inclusive picture book and that's all I really know about it. If you know me I love inclusive picture books and so I have to thank the publisher for sending me this one. I am super excited to read it. This is 56 pages so it completes that prompt. Hello I'm editing this video and I forgot to mention my Patreon book club pick of the month. If you didn't know I have a bi-monthly book club over on Patreon where we read LGBTQIA plus books. This month we are reading Perfect on Paper. If you want to join us the link is down below. So that was an Easter egg hunt picks my April TBR. Let me know what you're going to be reading in April and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and feel free to hit subscribe because I do TBR games pretty frequently so I would love if you stuck around to become a paperback pal. This video was inspired by Library of Alexa. Unfortunately she does not make videos anymore but I will have her Easter egg hunt TBR video down below if you want to watch it. It's a fun one. That is it for me today. If you would like to see more bookish things from me you can follow me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks, Twitter at Pucks Paperbacks, and I have a weekly podcast for book lovers called Reader Rambles where I ramble about bookish topics and I help readers navigate life. Episodes go up every Tuesday but if you become a patron you will receive them on Mondays. I will see you next time with another video. Bye!